This is a demonstration of thermal conductivity. Just like different materials conduct electricity better, some better than others, uh, different materials conduct heat better than others. Here are two materials, uh, both pretty much the same size, both uh, look pretty much the same. I've got an O-ring here to contain uh, the ice and we're going to um, investigate the differences in thermal conductivity. So here I've got some ice. I'm going to put some on, on each one. And um, start the stopwatch. So as you can see, in, in maybe 20 seconds of time, the ice has melted that's on top of this material here. And the ice has hardly, hardly started to melt on, the, um, on top of the other block. What's the difference? This block is actually aluminum, which is one of the best thermal conductors uh, of the known materials that we have that are easily accessible. This one is a, is a foam material, has a lot of air pockets in it, and it's a very poor thermal conductor. The curious thing about this demo is that if I were to hand you uh, and before I'd put the ice on these, if I were to hand you these two uh, materials, you would have felt this one and felt it to be warm. And immediately, even though they're, uh, before I put the ice on it, even before uh, the ice was placed on it, you would have felt this aluminum to be cold. And the reason is that your body temperature is greater than the room temperature. So when your warm hand touches the uh, room temperature aluminum, because the aluminum is a, is a very good thermal conductor, the heat from your hand immediately goes into the aluminum. And it feels cold to you because it's, it's taking heat away from your hand. Just exactly the opposite thing happened when we placed the ice on it. It, um, the ice is colder than the aluminum and the aluminum would have felt warm to the ice and, and vice versa. There's a heat transfer from the warmer aluminum, the room temperature aluminum, into the uh, freezing ice. And uh, that's uh, thermal conductivity.